Yes, hello everybody. This session under the playlist CAT, MAT and Management Exams, we are about to solve two basic questions from the concept of reminders. So without wasting time, let's directly get into the questions. Our questions are, what is the reminder when the product 74 into 109 into 125 is divided by 12? And the second question, 66 into 79 into 31 is divided by 7. So that is, we are given some product and that product has to be divided by some particular number and as a result what would be the remainders what remainders do we get these are going to be the questions and these questions are what we are going to solve here in this session and if you see these kind of questions you can regularly very frequently see in any kind of management exams like cat mat and other state level national level management exams yes fine and let's now see the procedure the approach to solve these questions for which we need to see a very basic very important property that is being used in reminders so let's start with the property so let me give the property here first and using that let's try to solve the problems yes we go the property is going to be property of product that is when whenever we play with reminders and that too if we need to find reminder for given product then what property to be used that is what we are going to see now so i'll start with the property reminder of a b by some particular n is going to be equal to remainder of a by n multiplied with remainder of b by n and of course this can be extended for any numbers so for clarity let me just give some basic explanation about what this rule is what this property is so whenever we need to get a product a b given a and b are some two numbers and if i'm going to find the remainder of a b i mean the product of a b divided by some number n what i can do is i can take the individual reminders and then multiply so this is what the property says and using this property is what we are about to solve the problems and as i told this is not only for two numbers we can extend it for three numbers or four numbers or any number of numbers we have yes fine so in words if i have to say this the remainder of product will be same as the product of the reminders so using this property let's try to solve these questions so we'll come to the first subdivision so it's given here first one we have the remainder so the remainder when the product 74 into 109 into 125 is divided by the number 12 what is the remainder just imagine finding out this huge product and then we get the result and once again after getting the result we try to divide that very huge number by 12 and getting the final reminder it's of course going to be a very big process right and it's also time consuming so in that case we can just use this property in order to solve this problem and we would get the answer very easily let's see how this trick is going to work and yes so i'm going to take the individual numbers anyways i'm going to get the product only but for which i'm going to take the individual numbers so i'm going to take the numbers one by one so first start with the 74 so the remainder when 74 is divided by 12 just imagine what would be the remainder when the number 74 is divided by 12 i can go up to 12 6 or 72 is it or not so when i try to divide i'll be getting 74 by 12 i can go up to 12 6 or 72 and that means i'll be ending up with the remainder 74 minus 72 which is 2 so in that case remainder here i can get is 2 yes that's it and next what is the second number we have 109 so remainder when 109 is divided by 12 and once again just remember 12 tables so we can go up to 12 8s are 96 12 9s are 108 right so 12 9s are 108 don't worry about the quotient we are worried only about the remainder in that case 109 when divided by 12 we'll be ending up with the remainder 1 right because this 109 is just one excess one more than 108 which is a perfect multiple of 12 that's it so here the remainder would be one and last one more number we have got so remainder 125 i mean the third number which we have to divide by 12 and here again once again we can get the remainder very easily it's simply 12 tens are 120 and in that case the remainder would be 5 right so yeah and according to the remainder property we have got the individual remainders so if i want to get this overall reminders if i want to get the remainder for this entire product what can be done so the overall remainder here would be so i can take this space i think yes the remainder here would be i mean let me extend it here so the remainder here would be 
remainder when 74 is divided by 12 remainder when 109 divided by 12 and 125 divided by 12 i've got individual remainders i can just play with these remainders itself 2 into 1 into 5 and that's nothing but 10 and that's the answer for our first question right so for the first question the answer is 10 remainder is 10 that's it let's now work the question which is in the second subdivision so here we have the product 66 into 79 into 31 is divided by 7 and once again we are asked to find what is the remainder yes let's take the question so what's the remainder when 66 times 79 times 31 is divided by the number 7 so let's work this question also in the same manner let's try to find the individual remainder so we'll quickly get into that so remainder when the first number 66 is divided by 7 so just remember 7 table since we are dividing by 7 so we can go up to 7 8s are 56 7 9s are 63 right so we came very closer 7 9s are 63 so that means here we have got 66 so that means this is 3 more so our remainder has to be 3 yes. and what about the next number here we have got 79 so remainder when the number 79 is divided by 7 and here we can clearly say 7 11s are is 77 and in that case the remainder is 2 because we have got 79 minus 77 will give us 2 and last number we have got 31 remainder when 31 is divided by 7 and here we would get 7 fours are 28 and once again here the remainder would be 3 yes 3 and if i want to get the overall answer i can just continue it here so that i will be ending up with 3 into 2 into 3 because i've just taken the individual remainders and as usual i can multiply those remainders now and if i do that I will be ending up with 3, 3 into 2 is 6 and 6 into 3 is 18. So I am getting the answer 18. But just hold on. Will this logic work? Because we try to divide some number by 7. Is that any way, any possibility that we would get the remainder to be 18? That's impossible, right? That's quite impossible. Because we cannot get a number which is still more than 7 or it can be even equal to 7, right? So in that case, we are getting a reminder to be 18 when a number is divided by 7. But that, different, that doesn't affect the answer. Why? Because we can even just manipulate our final answer from this resultant. What can be done is just once again take a reminder for this 18. So just go for reminder when 18 is divided by 7. So the answer would be 7 twos are 14, right? So in that case, this 18 is 4x's. So it would be 4. And then answer for the second question will be 4 i hope it is clear to you for the first question since we divided by 12 that we ended up with the answer 10 which was very direct but here when we try to divide by 7 we are getting some reminders so individually they are okay but once we come to get their product we had a bigger number so in that case no worries just take that number and once again try to take the reminder with your divisor so if we do that we'll be getting 18 by 7 and we are ending up with the answer 4 and that would be the answer for the second question yes i hope you are clear with the approach we handle in order to solve these problems these basic questions and if at all you have any doubts please post it in the comment box i'll say to verify your doubts and if you like this please give a like and if you find this video to be useful and useful to any of your friends please do share this video also and kindly subscribe to our channel for more such videos. See you soon in the next session. Thank you so much.